In this video, we're going to be moving apps from one location to another. What I want to do is actually remove the Photos app from my dock. As you may have guessed, uh, somebody like myself who has limited or no vision, I'm not really that interested in my photo albums. That particular app does not need to be on my dock, so I'm going to move it off the dock and I'm going to replace it with my iBooks app. The way to start the process of moving is to find the app that I'm looking at moving, and I'm, so I'm going to feel around the dock until I hear photos. Photos. Oh good. I, double tap. I did it on my first try. I'm going to double tap with one finger and then on the second tap I'm going to hold my finger to the screen until I hear the announcement moving photos. Moving photos. And I'm just going to slide my finger up the screen until I get to another position. Out of dock. Row four. Column four. Okay, and it's, and it's telling me where I am on the screen. So I'm in the fourth row, in the fourth column, and I could just release my finger there and it'll just drop my app right on that spot. Oops. Now, I'm gonna look at the dock. Safari, now double we have, tap and hold to move. On the dock now we have Safari. Mail. Mail. Music. Music, and that's it. I'm going to add the iBooks app to my doc. So I'm going to find iBooks. Page one of two, iBooks. Double tap to delete. It does say double tap to delete, but again, this is the same process. The deleting and moving process are both started by the same double tap and hold hand gesture. So what I'm going to do is, again, double tap and hold my finger, and then I'm going to slide iBooks down to the dock. Moving iBooks. Row four, column three. Position three, between dock, iBooks. Double tap to delete. iBooks. iBooks is now in my dock. It's actually positioned between mail. iBooks, music. And music. And once again, to exit this moving slash editing mode, I'm going to press the home key. And that's how you move an app on your iPad.